All right, I think we're ready to go. How are y'all doing? Uh, my goal today is to kind of talk to you via this uh, little one-on-one -on -one, uh, and kind of explain the idea of one of the exercises that we did today. I'm new at the vlog stuff. I've been trying to type out all these coaching points, um, but it's taken a while and I don't have the time to be able to keep doing that. So I thought this might be more efficient. So we have 10 girls on our roster and they are all Nine of them are 2009 birthdays and one is a 2010 birthday. Um, and here in Minnesota, we play 7v7 at the 09 age group. Um, we're, we're a magnet club here at the Minnesota Thunder Academy, and we tend to attract uh, dedicated athletic kids from multiple different geographic areas. So it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to then go back into these geographic areas that may have lost a talented player and then play against these teams that are built from... Uh, a community boundary um, and as a coach um, the 15-0 games do nothing for us and the girls may love scoring and the girls may uh, think that it's great but ultimately anybody that knows development knows that that's uh, not development so uh, we are going to start this winter playing them up an age group uh, through the next spring and through next summer uh, against their against the 08s. Again, here in Minnesota, the 08s play 9v9, so it's a larger field than we played uh, than, than the 7v7 field, and obviously with more players on the field. Um, so my goal this winter is to slowly introduce ideas uh, that allow them to feel more comfortable on the larger spaces and allow them to uh, better utilize those spaces um, as we play and as we get into competition. Um, the idea will always be to take a uh, technical focus of the day and try to bring it into that larger, uh, the larger field setting. So with the session that I'm talking about today, uh, we started with passing squares with the idea to really just work on uh, getting used to receiving the ball across their body. And this is an idea that will help them tremendously in the field of play as it allows them to put their body in a position which then allows them to see more of the field and see, see the the part of the field that they in general want to attack, which is the, the opposing goal. So we started with our passing squares and then uh, took that idea into uh, build up activity to goal. It's a crossing and finishing activity that can have a lot of variations and, and we can do a lot of stuff with. And this is the first time that the, that the girls have been introduced to this type of activity. Um, and in general, I think they picked it up pretty well. I think you'll see as you continue on through the video that we missed a lot of chances um, finishing the crosses that were served, but that's a whole eight sessions uh, in and of itself. Um, I wasn't too focused on the runs, I wasn't too focused on the finishing, uh, really the focus was primarily receiving the ball across your body, um, and secondary, trying to find the space in behind the defenders or the garbage cans in this activity um, for us to attack. The overall uh, idea that I want the girls to leave with there is uh, allowing the pass to beat defenders instead of passing to a teammate who then the teammate might have to beat defenders. Again, relatively new to the girls at this age in terms of passing the space rather than passing to a teammate, uh, but here's what I did. So the activity is set up in roughly a 35 by 35 yard space. I have all the soccer balls in the middle of the field. There are two garbage cans out wide that represent defenders. Um, and again, we worked in groups of four to goal. Here we can see the space that we wanted the pass from the center midfielder to get into, again, highlighting the dangerous space behind uh, opposing defenders. The activity starts with me playing a ball out to either one of the wide players. They're looking at receiving the ball and dribbling toward the center of the field, and we want this dribble toward the middle of the field to trigger some recognition in the center midfielder that that center midfielder may need to move to get open. And their movement isn't forward in a lot of cases, it's actually backward, which is again counterintuitive to some of the girls who at this age want to get the ball and want to go 100 miles an hour straight to goal. And I want to start to instill in them that most of the game is actually played not going straight to goal, but in, instead playing across the field uh, and many times backwards. The mantra that I used with the girls all fall is sometimes to go forward, we need to go backward. And I'll talk about that in a, in a later episode. So again, we want that center midfielder to drop and then to receive the ball across their body with their furthest foot. So in the case of this diagram, we would want all the central players to receive the ball with the inside of their right foot, allowing them to face forward and see the space that, that eventually we would want to get into. We want these center mids to be able to switch the point of the attack, change the field from going up our left side to our right side. Um, but instead of playing a pass to the, feet, to the feet of the opposite side midfielder, we're looking at that center midfielder to play a through ball behind the garbage cans, 
behind the defenders, uh, allowing that wide opposite side wide midfielder to run onto the ball. The upside midfielder then picks up the ball and, and dribbles down the field. If the ball is not played wide enough to them, they're free to go to goal. Uh, but in general, we want that ball played wide enough, and we want these girls to really look to attack the end line and play crosses back to their teammates. Ideally, ideally, we have a near a near post run and a slot run with just two runners, ideally. That slot runner would also kind of be responsible for the far post area as well. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm not really interested in the runs at this point. Um, and this is, again, is going to take a number of sessions to kind of uh, help the girls understand uh, the runs and the timing of the runs and everything like that. So this diagram is really what we ended up seeing is that instead of a near post runner or a slot runner, uh, we found that slot runner and we found a far post runner quite a bit. Again, um, overall, I thought the girls did pretty well with this. I think they had a good time. It's, it, they always love going to the goal. They always love trying to score goals. And it was a competition between the blue and the yellow team. We had, we had eight girls at practice for this, for this session. I ended up uh, varying it a little bit toward the end and having one of the team that just attacked, one of their players stay to become a defender against the next group that attacked. And there's a whole much more we can build off of with this. But the idea today was to introduce them to an activity like this, an activity that has countless variations uh, in terms of numbers that we use, where we play the ball, uh, different pattern ideas that we can give the girls. Uh, and I expect to use this quite a bit uh, when, we, when space allows this one. Um, that's about it. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. What you got? Five. She's got to get to 20 by the end of November. Seven, including the chin. Oh, move the feet, Ainsley. Don't get lazy. Gotta be left foot, left foot. Get your eyes up, Dutch. Make sure your target's ready. Good. Get your eyes up, Ains. Good. Hey, ladies, make sure after you receive your touch, you get your eyes up and look at your target. There's too many girls taking a touch and just passing, and Bella's looking over there. Okay, so again, I'm on my toes. Liv plays me the ball. Maybe I take a look at. Okay, Liv plays me a good pass. I take a look at Bella now, I take a look at Bella now, and I look at Bella now. Three times I saw her. One before I received the ball, two right after I received the ball, three after I passed. Okay? Go! Good, Dutch. I like how you saw Libby there. Good. Saw her again. Good, Libby. You never saw Sienna. Nope. Peek, uh, yeah, you gotta peek quicker. Good spot there. Bad idea, Dutch. Good aim, peek again if you need to. Good. Bad idea. Good. Good, Mickey, spot your target first. Good, and again. Good, much better. Spot your target aims before. There you go, good. Good, Bell, spot your target early. Good, Sienna, see the other ball, see your target. Come on, Bell, get there quick. Good, speak again, good. Good, well done. Good, lift, spot your target now. Good, and again, after you touch. Good.
Good, Mickey spot, Myla. Good. Good. Good, Ann. Take a peek. There you go. Good. Much better. Good, Belle. Take a peek. Take a peek. Good. Right. Good, Shannon. Take a peek again. Play behind Bell. Gotta play behind Bell. Perfect. Go. Talk, Kenny. You want the ball, Kenny? That's gotta be it. Almost got it. Finish. Okay, go. Good play behind her. Good ball. Go. Play left back, means you play right back to start. That's us. 